So th- my name is Phil. I'm one of the pharmacists here at Healthy Choice Compounding Pharmacy. Thank you for joining us tonight to hear Dr. Hal Blattman speak about pain, its origins, and how, how to help heal us. Corinne? We've been compounding since 1997. Uh, approximately five or so years ago, we left a hybrid type of store so we could just focus in on our compounding and we built a state-of-the-art USP 800 compounding facility that we do personalized medicine. And as we all move forward, we're all learning about genetic testing, allergies, and how people need specific medications for their specific needs. Instead of fitting a round peg in a round hole, we try and fit a round peg in a round hole. And we're really, these are the things that we're about. We're about dedication. That's what brings us here tonight. If we weren't here about dedication and education, we wouldn't be having Dr. Blattman. We try to provide cutting edge information and support so you can make better decisions about your healthcare. We're here to disseminate information so you can go back to your practitioner and educate them about how you can feel better. And we create medicine here. Some of the ways that we do it, we work with, we do men's and women's health. We do bioidentical hormones, thyroid replacement, Dr. Blattman will touch about low-dose naltrexone and pain management, as well as a little bit about dermatology. We do all different types of dosage forms. Um, we had a child just a few weeks ago who couldn't take lithium and commercially available products, so we made it into a, a gummy bear for him with a specific dose. So we can do nasal spray supplements. It's really about finding out what your needs are. Here's our contact information. And Dr. Blattman, oh, excuse me for the noise. Dr. Blattman's here tonight to talk to you. I've known Dr. Blattman for 15 plus years. I saw him in a pain seminar back in Cincinnati when we both had dark hair. And uh, he's been a leader and in, in innovative in the field since then. Corinne will now tell you about Dr. Blattman. Yep, so Dr. Blattman is the founder of Blattman Health and Wellness Center, where he integrates Western medicine and the latest holistic methods. After graduating from the Medical College of Pennsylvania, Dr. Blattman trained two years in orthopedic surgery, practiced urgent care medicine, and then board certified in occupational medicine and clinical toxicology from the University of Cincinnati. He co-authored The Art of Body Maintenance, Winner's Guide to Pain Relief, and is committed to helping people live pain-free lives through better understanding, treatment, and management. Dr. Blattman centers are in Cincinnati at the Juhai Ash Center in New York City and a presence of teaching at Bastyr University in Seattle. That was awesome. Yeah, so feel free to take it away, Dr. Blattman. All right. It's almost as awesome as you. Uh, (laughs) Let's go for a screen share and we'll do this and you should now be able to see my slides and start the presentation there we go you got it awesome yep okay so basically we want to talk about are you sick and tired of being sick and tired are you tired of being in pain have you started to realize that pain is not what we were taught and a lot of medicine also is not what we were taught and my ride has taken me from conventional medicine and orthopedic surgery, where I spent my first two years of training to the presidency of the American Holistic Medical Association, and just an amazing amount that we've been able to learn, share, and help people. So there's three arms to our practice. The wheelhouse is pain, making it go away. You don't have to learn to cope with things if they're not there. Second, regenerative medicine. You can regenerate ligaments from a abused ankle that's still swollen from years of abuse. You can grow new cartilage in a worn out joint. You don't need the joint replaced. You can grow a new rotator cuff tendon. You don't have to have it operated. You can even restore organs. You can restore your brain from dementia, your kidneys from kidney failure, as long as things aren't too far gone, your liver from issues. You can grow new blood vessels and new nerves and a penis and a clitoris. You can reduce stress incontinence in women. All kinds of things can be regenerated. And then the third is complex illness, Lyme, mold, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and the mitochondrial fatigue that comes after serious illness, many of which we have 
come very close to in the last couple of years. We teach you how to get out of your own way so your body can do what it knows how to do and needs to do. And then we biohack your biology to accelerate healing so your body can do things that it can't do on its own. What is chronic pain? There's two schools of thought across the globe. One, acute injury goes to acute pain. And if that pain isn't marvelously magically gone, it marvelously magically turns into chronic pain if it's still there in three months. And once you've been labeled of chronic pain, you've been taught that there's no hope for it to go away. What we have to do is kill the nerve that transmits it, interrupt the signal with medication, do epidural steroids, make your nervous system not work. Unfortunately, that is not the way our body works. The way our body really works is we have an injury, the injury gives us pain, and that pain will continue until your body heals from the injury. And if you can figure out where the injury is, and if you can get the things to heal that need to heal, no matter how long you've had this pain, and no matter what your diagnosis is, that pain can go away. There is no magic to chronic that means it can't go away. Here's a video to listen. Well, this has been quite an experience. It's actually, I'm actually a little bit in shock. I've dealt with back issues almost my entire life, starting with scoliosis. And I thought that pain was something I was just going to have to live with. And so now that I have issues with my shoulder, it's gotten so much worse, I thought I have to try something different. And now that I saw Dr. Blattman, I'm quite in shock. I've learned that pain is not what I thought it was. And the way you treat it is not the way that I've been treating it. So now I'm excited because now I'm, I can't wait to see how much better my body's going to get. Here's another one. This is a fellow that we helped avoid cervical spine surgery after a car accident. I'm here with Randy. Randy has been injured several months ago, and we just did some treatment with trigger point injections. He's um, changed a lot of his food and diet to reduce inflammation in his body. And here's part of his story about his experience today. This is his second visit. I've been suffering for the last six months with major arm pain, uh, pins and needles running up and down my right arm. I just had two or three injections and I am pain free right now. It's amazing. And the numbness in your arm? And numbness is I can move my arm. There's no pins and needles. I can move my neck. So we found that this pain is not coming from a disc and not coming from nope. a nerve. And nope. Numbness doesn't come from nerve necessarily. Nope. And no one was able to do this for me. Despite Thanks. all the things you've Thanks done. Thanks to Dr. Blackman. Yes. All right. Absolutely. This is so, so much fun to get out of pain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that you've heard that, let's go in and talk about how you can feel it in yourself. Because at the end of the day, the only thing you can really believe is what you can touch and feel. And you'll be able to touch and feel just like I can. So let's help you do that. Can you grab hold of this muscle in your neck? It's a thick muscle. Grab hold of this muscle, bring your fingers across it and feel that there's ropes and cords within this muscle and also appreciate that some of them in some places are way more tender than you expected them to be. Bring my shared window to the front. Is everything coming through okay? Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you, Dr. Blattman. Okay, and you see my screen? Yep. Okay, so palpate this muscle, feel that it's tender, feel that there's cords and strings, and then you'll feel the cross section of where that little red dot is and there's many cross sections as you come across this muscle. And then I want you to feel where these three red circles are in the middle of the green circle. That's the top of your collarbone. Push on the top of your collarbone and run your fingers across that and feel that there's little densities, irregularities in the surface that are also surprisingly tender. Well, this is the injury that causes that. And the first time you got that injury, you were an infant. Somebody picked you up by your shoulders and forgot to bring your head. Another time it happened, you might've been in nursery school. One of your classmates was really, un didn't like you that day and came up behind you right before morning recess and pushed you to the ground, snapped your head back and tore where the strings and cords of fascia that go through this muscle interweave with the cover over your clavicle bone before they come down into your chest and other muscles. And when the cable snaps, the strings twist into that knot, and that knot causes pain that we call migraine, trigeminal neuralgia, all kinds of things. You'll see them in just a few minutes. 
But first, watch this short video on what is fascia. We would like to present a unique aspect of the human body that has, until now, received little attention. This tissue is similar to a net like this one, which wraps all of the organs and muscles. Using a special camera, a French surgeon was able to capture this tissue on film. Until today, it was thought of as merely being kind of a packaging material, but recent scientific research has surprisingly shown that it can also be a source of pain in the body. So this is the muscle that we want to feel, and this is the muscle in our neck. And the muscle is a muscle about this big around, and you can feel ropes and cords in this muscle. And some of them are surprisingly tender. And then as you come across the center of the cords, you'll feel that tenderness. Then feel the top of your collarbone where the green circle is and the red circles. You can see that now. And you'll feel right across here where this video goes. And you'll feel that this part on the top of your collarbone is also surprisingly tender in certain places. So now watch the video on fascia. This is the injury that causes this in the muscle. We would like to present a unique aspect of the human body that has, until now, received little attention. This tissue is similar to a net like this one, which wraps all of the organs and muscles. Using a special camera, a French surgeon was able to capture this tissue on film. Until today, it was thought of as merely being kind of a packaging material, but recent scientific research has surprisingly shown that it can also be a source of pain in the body. Butchers cut off this tendinous wrapping tissue, the role of which in the animal body as well as the human body has been underappreciated. This small wonder is called fascia, and it's what holds us together, a connective tissue system that is now catching interest from scientists. It plays a crucial role in muscular force transmission and is a sensory organ, actually our richest and most important in terms of body perception. And thus, it can even lead to bodily dysfunction and to chronic pain. Even when removed from the body, fascia has been shown to have the capacity to contract and relax independently. For scientists at the University of Ulm in southern Germany, this is a strong indication that tension and pain can originate in the fascia. The fascial network wraps all of our muscles and organs and participates in every body movement. It contains nerves and blood vessels. In addition, fluid circulates through the tissue, giving the entire network the capacity to function hydraulically. The fascia can form adhesions, develop perforations, and produce complex tissue contractures. And that's where we are looking for ways to restore fascial functioning, as for example, with manual body work. How can we get a tight fascia to relax again? As the world of the fascia begins just below the surface of the skin, this network can be manipulated from outside the body. The Rolfing method of structural integration is a kind of fascial body work, which is, for example, used to address neck and shoulder problems, along with a number of other physical complaints. It often helps with musculoskeletal disorders that go along with tissue hardening or stiffening, as well as the subjective sensation of being somehow physically jammed or stuck. Rolfing practitioners use manual techniques to improve the function of fascia. They are experts in working with this unique system in our bodies. So those strings and cords that you see under that 20 power microscope inside somebody's body and fascia are what we're dealing with that is most of the pain in our bodies. 80% of the information going to your brain from your periphery are the nerve endings in between these strings and cords of fascia that are going through your body. And most of the pain comes from these nerves and they measure two things, friction as the strings move and pressure as you push on them. So when you felt this muscle before and you felt those cords and knots where this was really tight, the injuries are where these green circles are. And that's what you felt on your collarbone. And the pain pattern that comes from these is the migraine that you see that goes across the forehead, the cheek, the back of the head, and the top of the head. Your headache does not come from your head, does not come from your blood vessels. Your headache comes from the injuries through your lifetime to your fascia. Where do these injuries come from? 
They came from when somebody picked you up and you were an infant, forgot to bring your head. They came when you got pushed from behind and your head snapped back. And these strings and cords of fascia that go through this muscle and weave to the top of this before they come down into your chest when the cable snaps. The strings here twist into the kinks and knots, creating this ropey band and then creating that pain. So many of you on this, listening to this, you know this is tender and you know this is here, but you don't have those headaches and you don't have this pain. That means this injury is under your radar. That also means that the injuries that are not under your radar, that are in your face causing you pain, they don't have, this tissue doesn't have to be perfect, the stuff that's causing your pain. What you really need to do is be 99% ignorable everywhere. You don't have to make it all go away. You don't have to be 100% healed. You need to be 99% ignorable. So how about the ones across your upper shoulders? Well, the injuries are where these green circles are. How'd you get them? You're strong enough to lift and carry your book bag, your briefcase, and some of you hold up the world in between other things that you do. But where the muscle anchors out here and be here in the middle behind your neck where these green circles are, isn't strong enough to hold you together when you pull that hard and they slip just like this slips and this pain goes up your neck and into your forehead also. Here it goes to the side of your head and up your neck. And if you have headaches, you probably have a really tender kink back here too that makes this headache. The headache is not coming from your head. Where does lower back pain come from? These injuries to where your butt muscle anchors to your body. How did you injure that? You injured that when you were a child. What were you doing? You were jumping down the steps, jumping out of trees, jumping out of the swing set. And I don't know, were you the kid that led the other kids or watched the other kids or did you follow the other kids off the roof? And many of you remember how many steps you could jump in one jump, because we all did it. And many of you remember jumping off the roof and you injure the tendons where those green circles are. And just like this one slips and twists into that, your butt slips and twists into kinks. And I bet you can find the tight ropey kinks in your butt and they generate most of the pain that you think is in your lower back. How would you know? In the lower right-hand corner of the slide, you see the X's that mark the lower back muscles. The only thing you can believe is where you're tender and the things that are most tender generate most of the pain. And most people with lower back pain, your butt muscle kinks are way more tender than the lower back muscle kinks. Pelvic pain in men and women, same thing. Where these orange circles are, that's where the muscles weave to the cover over the bone. And that's where they get pulled, that's where they get injured. You can touch this yourself. Reach down underneath your pelvis and feel those structures and see how tender they are. If they're really tender, that is most likely where your pelvic pain is coming from and it's not just the floor of your pelvis it really comes from the thighs the muscle on the inside of your thigh is also very tender and it will make you think you have bladder pain it'll make burning when you pee it'll make the pain you think is in your prostate but if you've been on antibiotics for a year for chronic prostatitis it's probably not coming from your prostate you have pain in your heel does the pain in the bottom of your foot come from the strings of fascia in the bottom of your foot or does it come from the strings of fascia in the back of your calf? It's where are you tender? Is the calf more tender than the foot? And as we look at this slide, think about phantom limb pain. If you have an amputation below your knee, you still have your calf muscle in your stump and the knots in your calf muscle send the pain to the bottom of your foot and they don't care that there's no foot there. And just when you think you have most of the answers, the nervous system that transmits this pain does not know left to right, does not know front to back, and does not know up to down. And the muscle in your calf sends pain to the side of your face. And if the dentist touches your calf, they make movies about him or her. Somebody else needs to touch your calf and find out how tender it is if you've got pain here for a long period of time. So when it comes time to figuring out where does pain come from, I have distilled it into five rules. We call it the Blattman Five Rules of CSI for pain. Rule number one. You cannot believe the pain comes from where you feel it. Your headache doesn't come from your head. The pain in your left arm, didn't we teach you, could come from your heart attack. The pain in your knee joint does not come from your joint. Some of it might, most of it does not. How do we prove it? Talk to your friends who've had their knee replaced. 
How many of them does the knee still hurt and there's no joint there? Rule number two, you cannot believe what you think the pain feels like either. The nerve endings in between these strings of fascia telling you about all this going on, they send a signal to your brain about the kinks and about all this stuff I'm showing you. And you can't tell the difference between numbness, tingling, burning, itch, tickle, sharp, dull, achy, stabbing. And your doctor was taught that burning and tingling mean nerve, and they don't. The numbness in your leg could come from your muscle and have nothing to do with your back or your spine. Rule number three, you can't believe where you feel it. You can't believe what it feels like. The only thing you can believe is what you can touch and feel and where you are specifically tender, millimeter by millimeter, is where the strings of fascia that go through your body are kinked and tied in a knot or where they attach and weave to hold you together and you've injured them. Rule number four, the places as we do that kind of exam that are most tender represent the kinks and injured attachments and anchors throughout your body resulting from a lifetime of injuries and these generate most of your pain. How do you know if the pain comes from your foot or your calf? The one that's most tender generates most of the pain. And rule number five, almost all the time, as soon as you unkink the fascia and where you need to heal how you anchor and hold together, as soon as you do that, most of the pain you thought you had will go away. The pain is real, very real. You suffer with it every day, but you can make it go away. And you can't see these injuries on x-ray or MRI scan. You feel it by touch and by texture. The treatment, make the knots smaller and strengthen and repair where you anchor and hold together. How do you make the knots smaller? Incredibly simple. Push on them and squish them. Squeeze them and squish them. Put a needle in them, an acupuncture needle, a sewing needle, a dry needle, a trigger point injection needle, a prolotherapy needle. They all do pretty much the same thing. They unkink the fascia. If you do a trigger point injection, local anesthetic can work. Cortisone is for beginners. Never put cortisone into muscle. And we do our trigger point injections now with gas. And that is a, a game changer. Photon therapy refers to all kinds of infrared light and low level laser that also can change this. Why inactivate trigger points? Because when the muscle is kinked and tied in a knot, it doesn't let go. You were taught to stretch. We were all taught to stretch. And all the stretches we were taught are about pulling on the ends of our strings. You were taught to stretch your neck. You were taught to do this. You were taught to stretch your arm. You were taught to do this for this part in your arm. You were taught to stretch your hamstring. You bend over and reach your toes. All of these stretches are pulling on the ends. Well, you just learned that most all of your pain comes from a knot in the middle of a shoelace. Why in God's name? Are you doing that? So there's an entirely different way to stretch that we teach you. And you can work on your own body and make a lot of your own pain go away. And we teach you how to use a rubber ball to push on the knots that you can't push on and reach because you can make them smaller all over. So take a look at this video. This video is about how to use this rubber ball to massage your body to relieve shoulder pain, headaches, upper back pain, lower back pain the pain that we call sciatica. Take this ball, put your lower body against the wall, drop it from the top, lean forward, and you can send that ball directly down to about the level of your bra strap. Up and down massages that, limbo massages and push the ball all the way up to the top in one motion without even having to bend your knees. More important is the shoulder blade, ball right over here. You're gonna turn 45 degrees to the wall. You're gonna do this rocking motion we call the wiggle dance. Bend down, come back up, cross lightly over the middle, to the other side, turn 45 degrees, massage this one, and then take this ball, drop it down to your butt right about here, same 45 degree position, this kind of massage right on your butt, down, back up, cross lightly over, adjust the ball if you need to, down, back up, and with just that, for a couple of minutes before your work shift, you can relieve the tension that causes upper back, shoulder, head and neck pain, lower back, and pain down your legs, just with this ball. That ball can be your best friend. Another thing we do is needle surgery. You know what this tenderness means now. Your body has no idea. Your body thinks that of all the times this has been injured in car accidents and standing on your head and whatever you did, that it fixed you each one of those times. 
In truth, though, if you used ice or took an anti-inflammatory drug, you changed your injury into something your body cannot repair as well, and you just cut off your body's ability to repair. We'll talk about that more at the end if we have questions. But where these green circles are, where the anchor is injured. And so we need to wake up your body's healing program. So I actually do a needle surgery and re-injure you. I would poke holes in this. And then I need to do something so that what's in my needle makes you heal way bigger than you did all those other hundred times in your lifetime that you injured this. When you skin your knee, you bleed. You make a scab and four weeks later, the scab falls off and you have new skin, new nerves, new blood vessels. Well, if I take blood out of your arm, concentrate the parts of your blood that make that scab, put that in here when I create the injury, whether it's this or in your hip, like the picture shows, in four weeks, when the scab falls out of your tendon, you have new strings holding you together. And in that fashion, you can grow a new rotator cuff tendon. You don't need to do the surgery that's so painful and takes months of physical therapy to get rid of. You can heal that much more quickly. Here is an example. This is a woman with all this pain. Look in the upper left. Headache, neck and shoulder pain, lower back pain, all of that. We did platelet-rich plasma and injections through all this muscle in her shoulder and neck, through this muscle, through her lower back and the tendons in her butt muscle, and then the front of the thigh where these muscles attach to the front. And a month later, she comes back and you see the pain diagram in the upper right. That's how much of her pain went away from one treatment. And without additional treatment, two months later, you see the, the picture in the bottom middle. Look at the top left and the bottom middle. That pain can go away. You don't have to suffer with it. So what senses and transmits pain? The free nerve endings between the springs of fascia measuring friction and measuring pressure. The tight ropey bands put pressure on the free nerve endings and you get more pressure when you eat inflammatory food and that lights up your wounds like plugging in a Christmas tree, sometimes for two days, sometimes for six weeks. What you need to do is you need to reduce the pressure and eliminate the pain so that you can ignore the ones that are still in your face and causing you pain. The pressure on these free nerve endings is responsible for the sensations of itch, tickle, numbness, burning, tingling, aching, bladder distension. How do you know your bladder is full and it's time to urinate? Same thing. Sharp, dull, achy, crabbing, all of it. And if your gallbladder gets distended, it's the fascia on the outside of your gallbladder that sends the signal of pain. So here's what happens in your body. Over on the right side, you see the fascia weave of where you connect an anchor and then the muscle fibers to the left. You pull hard enough on that weave to slip it and it slips and the strings that are connected to it get really tight. The um, dots in the middle are the nerve endings that are transmitting this information to you. You pull a little bit harder, you slip a little bit more. And now you have a kink in the middle of this muscle that's sending pain. A ropey band, a kink in the muscle, and the consequence of that then leads to anaerobic metabolism because you can't get blood into that tight kink, lactic acid, inflammatory mediators, and pain that radiates along the lines of fascia all through your body. It's not transmitted by nerves as we were taught. And then how do we fix that? Well, we inject into this ropey band gas, oxygen, ozone, nitrous oxide, and take the fibers in that rope and spread them apart to restore blood flow to the muscle. And that changes the game. And when we need to, after we separate the stuck fibers, allow blood flow, the muscle can detoxify itself and the muscle can restore and you get relief of pain as fast as you do that. And then to make this pain more permanent, the relief, you have to restore the attachment. And the way you do that is you use platelet-rich plasma, do a needle surgery, and you can restore the muscle close enough to normal that it's not giving you pain anymore. So let's skip that subject for just a minute and let's talk about scoliosis. Where does scoliosis come from? Just like other fascia constrictions, your fascia can contract all by itself. If you come at the end of the day and your shoulders are up by your ears because you carried stuff all day long too much, 
the fascia in these muscles contracted so the muscle doesn't have to do the work. And you have to release all that to get your shoulders to come back down. Scoliosis, similar thing. Your spine is trying to grow vertically and the strings of fascia that go north and south and spirally up your middle don't allow for that growth. And so your spine grows in the path of least resistance, which is a spiral. And that's what we see in scoliosis. So you see the rib hump. It looks like an S-curve, but this is a two-dimensional x-ray and scoliosis is a three-dimensional deformity. We put rods and screws into people so that their lungs don't get compromised. But if you can feel the cords and feel the strings and you can release the tightness of the strings, in four days, you can change this 14-year-old child from a 43, 36 degree curve to a four, from 43 to 36 and from 45 to 28. Dramatic difference because scoliosis is an inside job and that's why the braces can't work. So another thing we do is regenerative medicine. You can grow a new rotator cuff tendon. You can grow new hip tendons. Your knee pain comes from the muscles and fascia that operate your knee and you can restore your ankle ligaments from chronic sprains. Take a look at this that happens from car accidents. Right where this arrow is, how much motion is in that joint when this person leans forward and backward? Right there. You want to see that again? Look at how much that joint slips. And the body doesn't like this slip. Look at that. That's pretty incredible. This is the person who can't look at fireworks without holding their neck to look up. This is the person who doesn't like looking at stars and staring up at the sky and wants to lay down on their back in the back of the pickup truck or on a blanket on the ground. Well, we can do a needle surgery to restore the integrity of these ligaments because the body doesn't like this. It grows spurs on the joint and keeps the neck muscles in spasm to prevent that slip. So if you wanna get your neck out of spasm, you have to restore the ligaments and tighten this up and surgery doesn't do that. Let's take some needle surgery. Let's talk about growing cartilage. If you can totally straighten your knee and you can bend it more than 90 degrees, there is no possible way this joint is bone on bone. Don't let anybody tell you it is. You probably have at least two or three cell layers thickness of cartilage, which you can't see on an x-ray, that allows this joint to move. X-ray correlates with motion. It does not correlate with pain. And if you can still move, you have enough cartilage to restore your joint. You can grow a new intestinal lining every three days. You grow new skin every seven days. You grow new brain cells. You grow bone and repair it. Does it make any sense that the textbooks tell you you can't grow cartilage? And I will tell you, we've been restoring cartilage for 25 years in joints. And it's not that difficult to do. Your body repairs cartilage to repair you from daily wear and tear every minute of every day, unless you have nicotine in your blood or take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Motrin and Advil and the whole list goes on because those drugs have some very important side effects. Number one, kidney failure. And I heard a nephrologist once tell me he sees more people on dialysis from Advil than from diabetes. Second, or Motrin. Second, um, heart attacks. The drugs all increase your risk of heart attack. Third, the drugs stop your healing. You take that for your injury, you just turned it into a chronic injury. And lastly, they stop your body from glycosaminoglycan synthesis, which is a fancy word to say growing cartilage. The drug you're taking for your joint pain is causing your joint to fall apart faster and need to be replaced faster. If a joint still moves, it can't be bone on bone. This is a knee that we did. This was a year ago. Look how much joint space is gone in these left and right knees. And look how much joint space comes back a year later from stem cell injections. You can restore joint cartilage. Why else do we feel bad? Lots of reasons for feeling bad. It's not just pain, environmental poisons. You think lead poisoning is only in Flint, Michigan. If you played with your bicycle on the street, there was still leaded gas until 1972 and you were breathing it and that lead is still in your body. Mercury, cadmium, glyphosate. You can't 
buy bread flour grown in the United States, not labeled organic, it isn't laden with glyphosate poison and hormone disruptor effects from that. We have hormone issues, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, pregnenolone, thyroid hormone. We have all kinds of problems with them. And as we get older, it is only right to replace these hormones because we were not designed to live without them. One of the most powerful things that causes us to feel bad is our food, fake fat and inflammatory food. I'm gonna talk about that in more detail in just a minute. And as we get older, we lose resilience. There are ways to restore our body in resilience. There's ways to detoxify, get the, pep get the poisons out. Bioidentical hormones for men, women, and children. If you're a teenager with menstrual migraines, you have a progesterone deficiency the second two weeks of the month. And might, all you need to do is to take progesterone. And it's not through a pill. And it's not through an injection. Food, we have a do not eat list. You go to the flatmanhealthandwellness.com. You can sign up for our newsletter. You can get the do not eat list. And to restore you from resilience, peptides, stem cells, intravenous ozone, intravenous vitamins, ultraviolet light can do wonders to restore your body from diseases, illnesses, and all kinds of things. Even cancer responds in many ways to intravenous vitamin C, to intravenous ozone, and to something called mistletoe that we're not going to talk about today. Food pain. If you can tell the weather is going to change tomorrow because you hurt more, that is totally from your food and comes from something your body did not want you to eat that you did eat in the last six weeks. So if you're clean and non-inflammatory to your body, six weeks from now, you can go to the window and you won't know about the rain until you see it on the window or hear it on the roof. Cross-contamination of bread flour, the tiniest amount, if you're sensitive, will make your lower back or other parts of your body hurt for three or four weeks. A teaspoon of sugar in a rheumatoid arthritis patient will make you hurt for four weeks. A teaspoon of a mashed potato will increase the pain in your body for four days. Fruit juice, two days. Fruit juice has as much sugar in it as soda. You have no business drinking orange juice. Artificial sweeteners, the blue package, can make you hurt for a couple months. The yellow package is chlorinated sugar. It kills the critters in your stomach from the chlorine to keep you alive. The pink package increases your diabetes. The blue package I mentioned briefly, that puts methanol and formaldehyde into your body. And then lastly to mention is dairy from cow. You can have goat and sheep cheese, but you have butter from cow that's not clarified into ghee. You have any of that cross-contaminate your food, these muscles are going to lock up for three to four weeks. You can squeeze this muscle in your upper shoulder. If it's tight, it's from the injuries that I described earlier. If it's tender, it's almost always from dairy. The tiniest amount of dairy in your coffee is three to four weeks. If you are exposed to these things and you want to get them out of your body faster, we have Dairy Gluten Cheater is a supplement you can get from the Blattman Health and Wellness Center. And it works pretty well, has digestive enzymes to digest what you can't handle from gluten and dairy. I wrote a book called Winner's Guide to Pain Relief. It includes pictures of how to use the ball all over your body to work with this pain and the pain patterns from the muscles so you can figure it out and help make most of your pain go away. This is for the do-it-yourselfer. Everybody will learn from this book. So that is the formality of the talk. So you can reach me in New York at the Juhi Ash Center. I am here every Thursday and Friday. The general number is 212-758-3200. You can look up and learn more about it at www.juhiashcenter.com. It's at the corner of 61st and 5th Avenue with Central Park out our window. Cincinnati website has a lot more information. This has been developed over 25 years. You can reach me at drb at blattmanhealthandwellness.com. You can look us up at www.blattmanhealthandwellness.com and I will stop the screen share. Hopefully everybody got a screenshot of that and we can ask questions. That was amazing, Dr. Blattman. I think I can say for myself and everybody else, um, I learned so much. Um, so I wanna thank you. And we do have some questions. If you have 
Any other questions, feel free to write them in the chat or the Q&A box, um, and we'll get those answered for you. So first and foremost, Dr. Blattman, we have a question. Do you do telehealth consultant, consults? Yeah. Yes, and actually the best way to see us sometimes is a telehealth consult, and then for your first visit, because you can learn a lot of these things without having to be in person, because I can show you where to touch, and you can tell me where you're tender, and you can learn the texture of where you're tender and where you're not, and you can also learn how to change your food and what to change it to, so that when I do see you in person, and I do loosen up the kinks in your muscle with that needle and the trigger point injections and the other things that we do, you won't glue back together. If I do a trigger point injection and I loosen your muscle and your pain comes back in 48 hours, it is always your food. If your pain comes back in two weeks, but it's not as bad as it used to be, we unkinked the muscle. We did not unkink the attachment. And if a pulled on attachment goes to a smooth muscle, some of those kinks are gonna come back into the muscle. That's the pain that comes back a little bit over two weeks. If the pain comes back in four and six weeks after some physical strenuous activity, that means you're not strong enough to hold together and you pulled on yourself and kinked again. And now you need a repair done. Great. Um, I have two other questions for you from Timothy. Yeah. Do you take insurance? And also they're doing acupuncture and it seems to be working a little bit. Can you talk a little bit more about acupuncture? If the acupuncturist is doing trigger point acupuncture and gets the needle into the trigger point, you will feel the muscle release. It'll be a very uncomfortable and very, very quick. That can do tremendous things for pain, but the acupuncture needle cannot take that ropey band and open it. That's why the injections we do are such a game changer for pain. Um, was there another part to that question? Um, do you take insurance? We are insurance independent. You will be able to bill like your insurance. Too. We can help bill your insurance, but if your insurance doesn't pay for our services, then you do. And then we have another question from Anthony. He said, my wife has suffered with debilitating cluster headaches for 40 years. Now she has back pain, foot pain, and exhaustion daily. Where do you start? We start by touching, feeling, teaching, and showing her that where it comes from, the only thing you can believe is where, what you can touch and feel. If I show her where she's tender and show her where her injuries are, it'll make sense to her and then start showing her what to do to change. The first thing she's gonna to need to change is gonna be her food. Second thing she's gonna to learn to do is use that rubber ball to start to work on her body. And then everything we do is a measurement. Her body will show us what it needs to do next by what goes away easily and what doesn't go away easily. And just like the picture of that woman with the pain all over her body that went away in just really quickly, how much of it was gone, your wife may find that also but she also may need to restore her mitochondrial function. So the vitamin IVs, ozone IVs, the other things that we do to support her biology, she may need peptides to help restore. She may even need stem cells to help restore. But there's so much that can be done. Where do you start? Food has to change. Part of the reason you're not better and part of the reason your body can't heal is because you are in the way. If we can get you out of the way so your body can do what it knows how to do, all kinds of things become possible. Another question? Dr. Blattman, I'm gonna jump in on this. In the beginning of our um, presentation, you, before our presentation, you told me you were gonna teach us new things. And I was like, yeah, I've heard a lot of things before. I thought the talk was just outstanding and um, always learn a few things from you. So I wanna thank you for that. I thought it was great. Let me give you one, one back. You know, we met in a, in a conference for compounding pharmacists. And one of the things we do, we did at that time was to teach how to use drugs in innovative ways. There's a drug that patients can get from you called phenoxybenzamine. You can rub that in a liquid on top of this muscle and it's like armor all. It stops your brain from tightening your muscles so that stress doesn't add to your situation for the day. There's a glucosamine cream that will help build cartilage in a jaw joint or a big toe joint or a thumb joint. 
The capsules and the pills don't work except for knees. For all other joints, Compounding Pharmacist makes the creams. You also can make all kinds of other things that we've talked about in here that help people. So I want to thank you so much for your work too. Are you still using your Cetyl Mysterelli, your whale oil? Cetyl Yes, yeah. we do. Yes, it's in our glucosamine cream. Absolutely. Right. I was making that a few years ago. So, yep. Good stuff. All good. Well, Dr. Blattman, I want to thank you. This was amazing. 